Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Solange Mouja. Solange, great to see you. Hi, darling. This week you're choosing to focus on how French people say goodbye. Interesting choice. Yeah, uh, we've already done a show on how the French uh, greet one another. I thought we could do an explainer on au revoirs or how the French say goodbyes. Um, of course, uh, there is la bise and handshakes. But on the linguistic side... Uh, it is au revoir, uh, which literally means see you again. Uh, today, some people no longer pronounce the R as an au revoir, uh, but uh, it is the classic goodbye. Even if its common use actually only dates back to the 18th century, adieu was used before that. Now, on top of au revoir, there are also many other options. There's salut or see ya. It can be used to say hi as well. There's the old school adieu, uh, which today has a finality to it and a religious origin uh, like adios or goodbye, which actually comes from a God be with ye. Uh, then there's a bientôt, which means see you soon. There's a tout de suite. Uh, it is sometimes shortened to a tout, uh, see you in a second. There's also regional, there are also regional farewells. Like in Normandy, it's bujou. And the French also use other uh, languages. The Italian ciao, often ciao ciao, is, is often said in a joyous way. Uh, even even if etymologically uh, it's, it means I am your servant, there is also shus and bye bye. So there are a lot of ways to say farewell in France. Merci bien, à bientôt. Au revoir. When it comes to expressions, my personal favorite is bon vent, which literally translates to good wind. Uh, it's may the wind be in your sails. Then there's bonne continuation, or keep it up. Profitez bien, or enjoy. And since COVID, uh, there's prenez soin de vous, uh, take care. This has become popular since COVID. <laughs> and finally, the often used, uh, and especially in professional uh, settings, it's bon courage. Now, this uh, means either stay strong or good luck, depending on how you say it. Bon courage, bonne chance, et bon vent à tous les coureurs du Tour de France de Berlin jusqu'à Paris. Now, Solange, let's talk to uh, turn to politics uh, for a minute because there have been some pretty famous uh, political au revoirs. Yeah, in France, there's the traditional passation de pouvoir or the moment when an outgoing president uh, or a minister hands the baton, says goodbye and hands the baton over to the next uh, politician. There are also farewell speeches. Some of these have remained lodged in the collective French memory, like President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing's televised address after his defeat in 19. When he turned his back on the camera. Au revoir. Then there are presidential funerals, which, like the Passation de Pouvoir, they are steeped in pomp. Uh, and the former, pre when the former president's admirers, uh, they come out to say a final goodbye. Now, Solange, let's talk about that final farewell because the, the, how the French choose to say goodbye is rather unique. Yeah, from a demographics standpoint, uh, the ultimate adieu uh, from uh, or, or death happens uh, for some 70% of French people at the age of 75 or older. Life expectancy in France is 85, nearly 86 for women and 80 for men. That's according to Lindsay's 2023 statistics. Now, over half of French deaths, they happen in hospitals, despite over 40, uh, uh, once, the, once death has occurred, over 40% are cremated. As for funerals, Funerals, well, just over a third of French families choose religious ceremonies, uh, about the same amount, uh, a third have a civil ceremony, and the final third, well, they don't uh, have a ceremony at all. Est-ce que tu souhaites rester à domicile? Est-ce que tu souhaites aller dans une chambre funéraire où les gens peuvent éventuellement venir euh, se recueillir? J'ai vécu plusieurs décès pour savoir que, en fait, en plus de la peine, la question c'est qu'est-ce qu'il a voulu? Now, Solange, because this is France and French, things are complicated. So how you say goodbye in the written word is different than how you say it in the spoken word sometimes. Indeed. indeed. Uh, but let's start first with the heartbreaking, and then we'll go into the lighter archaic. Um, during the Second World War, over 150,000 French people were deported uh, and sent to concentration camps. Uh, over 100,000 of them were killed. Many wrote farewell letters. Papa et maman, ainsi que grand-mère, 
vous envoie les plus gros et chers baisers avant de quitter Drancy. Nous partons heureux que vous ne soyez pas là, vivant l'enfer. Nous partons demain pour une destination inconnue. So Lange, moving on to something lighter, there's an interesting way of ending administrative letters in French, which we definitely don't use in English. No, definitely not. Tell us more about Yeah, this. it's the famous « Je vous prie, madame, monsieur uh, », l'expression de mes sentiments distingués. There are, these are our words du jour, and it literally translates to « I beg you, sir or madam, to accept » the expression of my distinguished feelings. Now, there are multiple versions of this sentence. It is indeed very complicated, um, but it is the way to end formal letters. Uh, it is a bit archaic, uh, but it is still used today, especially with cover letters and when applying for jobs. I have to Google this and copy paste it. Me, me too, it's every I single it time. It's ridiculous <laughs> after so many years in France. Uh, finally, Solange, let's talk about jobs as there have been many goodbye traditions in offices too. Yeah, whether you're changing jobs or retiring, there is a tradition in France called the Poud de Départ, or a farewell party when you leave work for good uh, or when you retire. It is often a festive and emotional moment. Il est 12h30. Au revoir. <laughs> Which brings me to why I chose this theme of uh, farewell for this episode. Episode. The sad news is that this is my last French Connections for the near future. The happy news is that Florence Villeneau is back. So to use the French expression, which is also the song title of uh, uh, Old Lang Syne, ce n'est que un au revoir. Solange, uh, we'll be seeing you around for sure. Yeah. Solange Mougin there uh, with uh, French Connections. And if you want to check other editions, you can check out our website, france24.com.